What's going on guys? It's Stevie Johnson here. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be part two to the first video where I'm going to show you how I went from 20k a month to over 50k a month bringing in a whopping $572,000 at age 26 in 2019. But really quick, here's a quick recap on how I went from zero to 20k. I started out making smoothies, juices, burritos. I'm a college grad, super frustrated. I find the agency model through Ty Lopez. I quit that job to go all in, quickly realize it's way harder than what they make it seem to get to $10,000 a month. So I end up getting two more jobs through that process. I finally get to five to $6,000 a month, quit all the jobs, go all in on the agency and find my breakthrough to get to 20K a month. So this is a huge shift in my life. I'm finding success. I'm able to completely move out of my mom's house. I get my first apartment, a luxury apartment that I'm super proud of. I have money in the bank and I actually see light at the end of the tunnel. If you guys haven't watched that video, go watch it right now. I end 2018 making over $169,000. Life is getting interesting. I stick through, through all the ups and downs and I refuse to go back to where I came from. All right, so I wanna get right into the meat and potatoes of how we went from 20K a month to over 50K a month. So I'm gonna break this video up into two parts. The first part, I'm gonna discuss the challenges and the bottlenecks that I faced during this phase. The second one, I'm gonna break down the wins and the key factors that allowed me to go from 20K a month to 50K a month. So my first challenge and bottleneck on my way from 20 to 50K was that I was spread way too thin. I was doing every single position and every single role in the agency because I was pretty much a one man band. I was doing the ads, I was doing the setups, I was doing all the client communication, I was managing the email um, outbound campaigns to, to generate new appointments, and I was doing the sales calls. So it got to the point where there wasn't even enough time in the day for me to even add on more clients because I was just spread so thin. So the first obstacle was I needed to hire someone, I needed help. I hired my best friend, Anthony Talavera, and he comes in and helps me do all the client setup and all the client fulfillment and ad management, which basically saves me a bunch of time and it allows us to almost have this game plan to where he was gonna do all the client management. I was gonna go harder into generating more sales calls and closing more deals so that we could scale to 50K. But really quick, here's a key takeaway. From zero to 20K, I basically had one VA who I paid $400 a month who was sending emails to get more appointments for us. Outside of that, I did every single component in the business from zero to 20K, from managing the ads, doing the strategy, learning how to sell, creating the sales process, learning client communication, I did everything. And this is super important because I see a lot of agency owners in the beginning try to hire so quickly when they don't know all the aspects of the business and they don't know all the key factors that play into client success and actually building and scaling an agency. On top of that, when you know every single department, you don't need to be an expert in every facet, but once you know how the entire landscape works, then when you hire people, then you can actually train them and know what you're talking about. So I bring on Anthony, huge win, saves up so much time, allows us to literally set our 50K a month goal. We're super pumped up. And another key takeaway here is that when we set our 50K a month goal, we don't just say it. We literally set that goal and we reverse engineer it all the way down to how many clients we need, how many emails, how many sales calls we need at our close rate to make it an actual reality. So at the end of the day, we knew we needed to get to 35 clients paying every single month $1,500 to break 50K a month. So the second challenge we faced was client retention. We knew that if we wanted to grow, we had to bring on more clients every single month than the amount of clients that left every single month. So client retention was a pain point that we started to face, which allowed me to strategize and start to focus on how we could retain more clients. So a big key factor for client retention is active high touch point communication not just talking about nonsense, but you wanna actually be discussing with the client and sharing them all the work that you're doing, all the wins that are happening within their business. You wanna get very detailed. You want them to know that you are behind the scenes working your ass off and that you actually care. 
And the way to do that is to always share wins as frequently as possible. So now I'm gonna break down the wins and the key factors that allowed us to go from 20K a month to 50K a month. So the first key factor is that we niched the niche. We niched down even further. This is super important because we were working with chiropractic offices and then we started to work with medical offices. Through those two niches under the umbrella, we identified two services that we were really good at advertising. From there, we decided we were only gonna work with these two specific types of clients, which really simplified our process, which was the key factor number two, being extremely simplified. We only had two clients we were going after, which meant we only had two ad campaigns, which meant we only focused on two different types of campaigns in general for innovation, and we only had two sales processes. So it was very structured, very simplified, which allowed us to scale quicker. So number three, since we were so niched down, we then became market specialists. When you went to our website, our website was so focused on these two services, we were so so specialized with so many client case studies that when we were prospecting and people would research us, there was no doubt about it that we weren't experts in these two services getting phenomenal results for our clients. So number four, we get a lot better at email marketing. Our outbound marketing message to these two specific niches just gets better and better, which allows us to produce more sales calls. Combined with more sales calls, I got a lot better at sales. So not only were we generating more sales calls, but I was even converting even a higher percentage of them because I was getting better at sales, I was getting more repetitions, and we were so specialized and our website had so much proof that it just had this perfect trifecta of clients saying yes. Here's my credit card. So number five, we developed an effective client communication strategy for retention. Since we were working so hard to bring on new clients, we needed to figure out a way to retain these clients. So what actually ended up working was one, we wanted to build really good relationships with our clients, being more personal. But on the other side of that, we were discussing results and we were dropping wins as frequently as we could from leads we were getting, the schedules we were getting, the ROI that they were getting. Each time they closed a the patient, we would celebrate it. Each time we generated a new ad or some sort of facet within the campaign, we'd share it with them. So they knew that we truly cared and that we were working our ass off behind the scene. One thing that really plagues agency owners is the fact that their clients don't know how well they're working unless you actually tell them. So make sure that you're communicating with your clients on what you're actually doing and you can get even pretty granular they'll start to understand that you are working hard for them and that you actually care. All right, so we're gonna need a drum roll for this. Nine months into 2019, August, we finally hit our first 50K month doing exactly what I just broke down for you guys. This is a huge celebration for us. This is actually like probably one of the most biggest accomplishments in terms of how I felt because of how significant it was to get to that first 50k month so we hit our first 50k month previous before that i get out of my old apartment we're in the new penthouse so we're having the new penthouse in downtown san diego we design our office within there we're doing a work home type of environment um, i'm literally 26 years old on top of the world and this is just an incredible feeling. So one key tip since this journey can be extremely difficult and dark at times is you need to find things that are going to motivate you and put a fire inside of you to continue to move forward. For example, here's this one video by Conor McGregor that I've literally watched over a thousand times and I still watch it to today because it was a video that I was able to watch every single day that just literally put such a burning fire inside of me that just forced me to continue going and continue marching forward regardless of how things were around me. I always visualized good things. I always visualized victory, success, abundance. I visualized it all and it's all happening. So there it is guys, that's how I went from 20K a month to bringing over $572,000 at age 26. I ended up moving into the penthouse of my dreams, life was amazing, things were starting to go according to plan. My vision was starting to become manifested. All right guys, if you liked the video or got any valuable information from it, 
Like it, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping key videos on how we've been able to scale our agency to the mid seven figure level, driving multiple seven figures a year in profit, and how we were able to make the Inc. 500 fastest growing companies in 2022.